Jukebox. Uh, it's a uh, rock ola. Uh, it's original uh, rock ola icicle. Uh, it's the icicle uh, 1448, and it was built in uh, 1955. And um, yes, uh, uh, I it, uh, having a jukebox was one of my biggest uh, wishes ever. Uh, already since I'm. A very uh, little girl and um, uh, about uh, two years ago uh, my wish uh, finally came true uh, I saved uh, a lot of money um, for uh, many long year um, many long years uh, for it and uh, so about two years ago uh, I was very happy to buy uh, a jukebox and um, so um, and of course, uh, the the song you heard playing on the jukebox was of course uh, Venus by the Dutch band Shocking Blue. And um, today I wanted to uh, do a very uh, special video. Uh, I wanted to do a kind of tribute video for uh, the lead singer of Sh uh, Shocking Blue. Uh, of course, uh, that was Mariska Veres, and um, Mariska Veres. Um, uh, today it's uh, the second of December, so uh, five years ago, exactly, uh, she died from cancer. Uh, Mariska Veres was born on the first of October, 1947, and she died five years ago. So. Um, to uh, December and 2006 and uh, so she would have been uh, 64 uh, today uh, but um, unfortunately she passed away so um, uh, I think um, Shocking Blue um, you know is one of the Dutch band who accomplished to uh, have um, many success uh, in the also abroad, uh, you know, so outside the Netherlands. Uh, Venus was a huge hit everywhere, and uh, among others uh, in Germany also. And uh, for example, it has uh, it was number one in the Billboard Hot uh, 100 uh, in 1970 and had, uh, was uh, about uh, three weeks on the first uh, place in the uh, US uh, charge. So uh, I think that's very uh, special, you know, um, especially for a Dutch band. And, um, uh, you know, um, Many people around the world still uh, remember or still know uh, the song uh, Venus. And um, of course, uh, in the jukebox I have a reissue, so um, I uh, didn't want to uh, put the original single uh, in it because uh, the original uh, single um, maybe is a lot more worth, and um, you know, um, so. Uh, I just uh, put a uh, reissue in the jukebox and it uh, plays fine with me. So, uh, but um, the original single and uh, I have it here. Um, unfortunately, I ha don't don't have the original sleeve, but uh, maybe I will find uh, someday as well. But uh, this is the mono uh, pressing for Venus by Shocking Blue and as you can see it's on the original label it's the Pink Elephant uh, label and um, so I'm very uh, proud to have this but uh, I still want the original uh, single with uh, the sleeve of course so if someone has it or maybe you have uh, 
an American pressing, if you have one, uh, please let me know because I'm, uh, you know, I'm really looking for that. And um, you know, later on, uh, other artists uh, were uh, covering. Um, uh, they recorded a cover of uh, Venus as well, and uh, for example, the Bananarama. They recorded Venus in the uh, 80s, and uh, it became a number one hit around the world as well. So, um, uh, Shocking Blue was uh, formed in 1967, and they disbanded in 19. 74 so uh, I was only three years old then but uh, um, actually the music of uh, Shocking Blue uh, they still play it a lot on the radio here so um, I, I know the music as well and um, uh, the music you hear in the background now um, it's actually a compilation CD so uh, it's the best of Shocking Blue. I think I bought this late 80s, this CD, and, um, and of course it uh, contains Venus and uh, among others uh, Hot Sand, uh, Demon Lover, uh, Blossom Lady, uh, Shocking You, um, Long Lonesome Road, uh, Never Marry a Real Roadman, uh, Mighty Joe, and uh, you know many more uh, uh, great songs by Shocking Blue. And um, of course, uh, the uh, the song uh, Shocking uh, Venus by Shocking Blue was composed by uh, uh, Robbie van Leeuwen. And um, I have some uh, LPs, original uh, CDs of uh, LPs uh, from the beginning. Uh, for example, um, this is their very first album. It's uh, simply, uh, it's self-titled, so it's only titled Shocking Blue. And um, this album is from uh, 1968. And uh, actually I have two uh, pressings uh, from the same album. Uh, it's also a very nice gatefold and as you can see it was also on the pink elephant label and um, this is uh, black and uh, pink but I also have another pressing Uh, so as you can see here, it's the same uh, album, and um, but the label is different uh, colored. So it's uh, mostly uh, black and with a little pink uh, elephant, as uh, the label is called. So uh, and uh, actually the the vinyl is in very good shape. So I'm very happy to find a original pressing which is in a very good shape uh, still. So, um, uh, what's so very special about this uh, album is that uh, still the original poster is uh, here. It's, uh, yeah, it's a very large poster. I think it's too hard to show you now, but um, Let's see if I can pull it out. Uh, let's take a look. It's a very, very, really very large poster, so I can't uh, show you uh, in one time, I think. But um, as you can see here, original poster so uh, it's 
so that's very cool uh, to have. And um, so uh, I also have uh, the second album by Shocking Blue, and this was um, called At Home. And it's also a very nice uh, gatefold. Uh, this album was uh, released in 1969 and it, uh, it was also printed on the pink elephant label, so uh, very nice to have. Um, then uh, unfortunately I don't have uh, the upcoming album but um, I have uh, this album as well it's called the third album but uh, <laughs> for some reason there is a, a album before this one so I don't know why they call this uh, the third album but okay um, as you can see it's a gatefold and it contains uh, you can't see it here because of the light I think but um, it can stay contains the lyrics of the songs on it and uh, this was um, this was released in uh, uh, the year when I was born <laughs> so it was released in 1971 so very cool to have also um, then I also have a live album, original uh, release, it's uh, live in Japan and it was recorded on the 28th and 30th of July at Tokyo, in, in I don't know how to pronounce that, but um, it's also released on the pink elephant label. And uh, this live album was uh, released in 1972. Um, it's also Japanese uh, pressing because uh, you, you, you all see here the uh, Japanese, uh, you know, uh, words also. And uh, it's also a gatefold with uh, lyrics from all the songs so very nice and um, so that was the live album from Japan and uh, then I have uh, this is uh, Shocking Blue Sensational And um, I don't know when it was released. No, it doesn't. Uh, so the, the label doesn't tell me uh, when the the record was released, but um, I think it's an original uh, pressing and. Um, It's a compilation LP uh, in the end, so uh, but uh, very nice uh, to have as well, of course. Um, then another uh, compilation LP by Shocking Blue. It's this one, Golden Hits. It's. Uh, I don't know if it's an original pressing, but uh, there's no name of uh, the label on it, so uh, 
I'm afraid it's not uh, an official pressing, but uh, very nice to have as well, of course. Shocking blue <laughs> golden hits. Um, well, um, I know there are uh, many more uh, LPs they released in the early 60s, early early 70s, and um, but unfortunately I didn't find them yet. So uh, if you know something for me, uh, if you know, uh, if you have seen uh, a very special uh, pressing by uh, Shocking Blue somewhere. Uh, and it's uh, the price is very reasonable. Um, please let me know. I'm very, uh, you know, it's uh, still on my wish list. So um, <laughs> I really want. Uh, I'm still looking for that. So um, please let me know uh, if you find something that would be very cool. And um, so. Um, uh, yes, uh, these were uh, all my uh, records I have by Shocking Blue and uh, maybe I can show you more in the future, you never know. Uh, but uh, so, uh, this was my uh, tribute to Mariska Veres. Um, as I already said, uh, today it's five years ago uh, she passed away. She passed away from cancer. And she was only uh, 59 years old, so. Uh, but uh, I'm very happy, uh, you know. Um, the music still remains, and um, so. And I'm very proud that uh, a Dutch band, Shocking Blue, once had a number one hit <laughs> in America. So that's very cool, you know. And uh, well. Um, uh, that's all for now. Uh, I wish you all a very great weekend and uh, I hope uh, to be back uh, soon with another video. Okay? Bye bye! Have a good one!